what then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son but delivered them up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Who shall bring a charge against God's elect? It is God who justifies. Who is he who condemns? It is Christ who died and furthermore was also risen, who was even at the right hand of God, who also makes intercession for us. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? As it is written, for your sake we are killed all day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Yet in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other created thing shall be able to separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Persecution's coming, nah it's already here. Faith and patience, God don't give us the spirit of fear. This world is dying, no lying, watch it disappear. We see partial now, but soon it will be crystal clear. Rumors of war going back and forth like rocking chairs. Babylon, the greatest falling bombs burst in the air. The truth was on the Holy Bible's pages, but they didn't care. The blind lead the blind, so both fall into a snare. Maranatha, Lord Jesus, he warned was coming after. His dissension and ascension, he told us disasters. Earthquakes, pestilences, and famine will grasp us. We will be hated for his name, these things must come to pass us. People refuse his sound doctrine, so they find pastors that tell them what they itching is when they hear madness. We will be persecuted for his name. Some by the sword, some by the flame. Some taken captive, like Zedekiah the king. He said that the days were not short and no flesh will remain. Robes washed in tribulation, we shall have no stains. Cleansed by the blood of Jesus and praying for the saints. We shall walk and knock it wherever he said we will not faint. And upon his coming, we shall be with him within a blink. Go against the rock of God and watch your Titanic sink. He shall smash and break it in pieces. They satanic ranks. As the days of Noah, they didn't notice till the water came. The earth should travail like a woman going through birth pains. Like a woman going through birth pains. The earth should travail like a woman going through birth pains. Woe to you who plunder, though you have not been plundered. And you who deal treacherously, though they have not dealt treacherously with you. When you cease plundering, you will be plundered. When you make an end of dealing treacherously, they will deal treacherously with you. Oh Lord, be gracious to us. We have waited for you. Be their arm every morning. Our salvation also in a time of trouble. At the noise of the tumult, the people shall flee. When you lift yourself up, the nation shall be scattered. And your plunder shall be gathered like the gathering of the caterpillar. As the running to and fro of locusts, he shall run upon them. The Lord is exalted, for he dwells on high. He has filled Zion with justice and righteousness. Wisdom and knowledge will be the stability of your times. And the strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. Surely the value one shall cry outside. The ambassadors of peace shall weep bitterly. The highways lie waste. The traveling man ceases. He has broken the covenant. He has despised the cities. He regards no man. The earth mourns and languishes. Lebanon is shamed and shriveled. Sharon is like a wilderness of Bashan and Carmel. Shake off their fruits. Now I will rise, says the Lord. Now I will be exalted. Now I will lift myself up. You shall conceive chaff. You shall bring forth stubble. Your breath as fire shall devour you. And the people shall be like the burnings of lime. Like thorns cut up, they shall be burned in the fire. You hear you all far off what I have done. And you who are near acknowledge my might. The sinners in Zion are afraid. Fearfulness has seized the hypocrites. Who among us shall dwell with the devouring fire? Who among us shall dwell with the everlasting burnings?